Hi guys, Bob Collins for Edge Hog Dive Gear. Our series about uh, scuba diving and being a scuba instructor, we're trying to expand and do interviews with different instructors and such. Um, today I'm in Southern Cali. I'm here with Jade Scuba Adventures and here with Jake and uh, the famous Ashley. We're gonna just do a little discussion. Uh, if you're thinking about becoming a scuba instructor, this video is for you. If you're a scuba instructor and want to be more profitable, uh, this video is for you. So stick with us, I'll be right back. Jake and uh, Ashley were nice enough to visit with me. I'm here for the Long Beach Scuba Show. We're gonna be talking scuba instruction. I had uh, breakfast with them this morning. We did some uh, great discussion. And I think you're gonna get a lot of benefit out of what we talked about. Jake, how long have you been teaching? I have been teaching for two years now, actually. Okay, Ash? I've been teaching for about four and a half years. Yeah. And what got you into teaching? Um, one of my instructors during open water class offered a GI Bill program for me to become a scuba instructor, and I said, why not? So that was in Utah, right? That was in Utah. Yeah. Yes, there's diving in Utah. And Jake, what <laughs> motivated you? Uh, the scuba addiction. I cannot get enough <laughs> bubbles, and so after I finish one training course, I say, what's next? And eventually, there's nothing left but to become an instructor, so here I am. Okay, good, good. Now, you're part of the Edge Hog professional program, and I'm gonna ask you how that's been going for you and why you got involved in that. So one of my original instructors, my mentor actually um, turned me on to hog regulators when I was a brand new diver, and that's how I found out about hog. And as we looked at opening our own business in California, we wanted to have some equipment to sell to our clients instead of saying, hey, do training with us, go to somebody else for your equipment. We wanted to be kind of that full service idea for our clients instead and be able to deliver it at their pool session. So Hog and Edge were that option for us. Yeah. Now, Jake, you guys operate out of your own uh, home, home mm -hmm. facility. Uh, how does that work out for you? It works great. It's a really personable approach instead of the stale like shop setting of we meet our clients. It's a nice little backyard pool. It's small classes. We bring our gear there for them to look at the mass snorkel fins and just they get to try it out in the pool before they even buy it. And then we have it all available for them and it makes it really nice and easy. So you guys have a, a, a really nice website. So if you guys want to see one, take a look at Jade Scuba Adventure. Just Google it. I'm also going to put a link in the in the uh, description down below. So if you click on that, it'll take them to their uh, website, and you can get a lot of good ideas for your website there. Also, what uh, what technique do you guys use for pricing your your uh, courses and and such? Um, a big part of it is finding out what our costs are and the amount of time that is going to be involved in the course, and then trying to figure out how we can not just pay ourselves, but also pay a different instruction instructor possibly, and still have a little bit to put back into the business so that we can increase our stock so we have more um, inventory available for our clients. So when you guys first started out, you were basically just uh, making money on training, right? Mm -hmm. And was Edge Hog your first um, brand that you brought in house yes. per se, and but you've added on some others since then, right? Mm -hmm. You guys out there, you got to understand that you know the whole paradigm of scuba training and scuba sales. Of course, we see the Amazons, we see the the internet situations that are going on, but it's uh, it's really important for you to develop your own. Uh, style your own realm of what you're trying to do has equipment sales uh, kind of increased your bank account absolutely yeah helps you move forward and absolutely it does. different I mean it's kind of nice when you sell mass fin snorkel booties to a whole bunch of people it makes that 
six or seven or eight hundred dollar insurance a lot easier to to deal with right absolutely yeah, yeah and when we contract with another instructor to help us out with some of our classes i mean the business profit margin on that is slim whereas the gear it's a lot larger than the instruction at that point okay and and we see that a lot out there and and if you're wondering about it you know shoot us a note uh, again the links down below to contact uh, edge hog if you send ashley and jake a note and say are 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 they telling the truth then they'll come back and let you know yeah absolutely uh, be happy to do that <laughs> and so you do your we're sitting right out here uh, there's a beautiful pool right here behind my back. So you guys utilize uh, home pool situations. Do you ever go to somebody else's pool? Absolutely. And teach in their pool? Yeah. So there, there's a great option is for you guys to look at going and, and hooking up and offering that uh, concierge service is mm -hmm. what I kind of call it. That has it worked out great for me how about for you guys our clients absolutely love it um we pride ourselves in the private and personalized training side of scuba so we have many clients who have really appreciated that you know they can just go to their backyard and have everything right there for them mm -hmm. especially moms and dads with younger kids they don't have to go find a babysitter yeah. So their kids can go do their own thing. Mom and dad can be in the pool or the older kid can be in the pool and mom and dad can be around. Um, it makes it much easier for the parents, especially. Now, you guys go to this terrible location down the road. I think it's called Laguna. Yes. yes. It's, it's terrible. <laughs> it's a terrible. Don't come to Laguna. Yeah. That's only because of the parking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty impressive place out there, guys. Pretty impressive. So you guys schedule based on your students' availability? Absolutely. From, from what I understand, okay? And one of the things that we talked about at breakfast was kind of a epiphany moment in becoming uh, an instructor. And some of you guys that are already instructors, you, you, you're going to know what we're referring to here but it's always here to hear somebody it's always great to hear somebody else's um that's a weird word epiphany right like mayonnaise in gymnasium <laughs> big word but uh what was your epiphany moment um, as an instructor my big thing was definitely when I found a diver who had died during a dive and realizing the basics that were not followed on that dive and how much we can brush them over because we're like, oh, those are the basics, those are the easy, everybody does them, so don't focus on them. And instead actually realizing the importance of those basics, the buddy check, the have a buddy, the make sure you plan the dive with a buddy, don't just go out as a large group, your dive planning, um, only diving to what you've been trained to. If you're an open water diver, course director, 60 same. feet, course director. you know, those kind of things. And when I saw that accident and reviewed all of the information in that investigation, finding that if just the basics were followed, we'd be okay and we'd still have that diver. Yeah. How about you, Jake? So going back to my addiction and the training, <laughs> when I first was getting into diving, I didn't feel all that comfortable with it. And I ended up actually getting my training through three different organizations and three different shops. Yeah, ad addicted. And <laughs> each one of them I noticed were leaving what I felt were pretty big holes or skipping over or glazing over key parts of the training that I found very valuable. And so now going into an instructor, my epiphany moment is just making sure to focus on covering a lot of the important stuff that we need out here and kind of combining everything that I learned and everything I felt that I was missing so that my divers feel comfortable confident and competent to go out there and dive and safely and have fun yeah you know we we talk about it and, and and it's something we smile about but it's one of those things where if you really consider it when they take somebody that's in maybe in college and they're playing ball uh and then they get picked up by the big leagues they go out there, and when they step out there on the, the field with the big leaguers, 
one of the first things they do is send them back to basics, you know, go back to fielding, go back to batting, that sort of thing. And I think for, for all of us, especially experienced instructors, uh, this is not just about edge hog, but this is about instructing period. Uh, and for you, you folks that are new instructors or getting ready to become instructors, the basics, like what Ashley was talking about, are so critical to everything we do in, in diving. How about role models? Any role models for you? Absolutely. So Jay Barth um, out of Salt Lake City, Utah, was my course director as I came up through the ranks, so to say, in scuba. And he's been my mentor ever since. I literally can call him 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and he's there to answer my questions. Should I ask you who your role model is? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my role model has been the person who taught me to be a dive master right over here. Uh, she got me into the world of professional diving and then also introduced me to Jay Barth, who taught me to become an instructor. And both of them have been incredibly influential to me. Everything that she said, Jay, has been a huge help. And then also just having Ashley right here to always kind of ask her opinion of stuff because she does have more experience than me and taught me to become a dive master and pretty much set me up for success to be an instructor. Like Jay Barr said, oh, I should give you a refund for your IDC because I didn't have to teach you anything. So it's really, it's really nice to have a role model. In addition, it's really nice to have other instructors out there yes. that you can, uh, some, of the, some of them you wouldn't, to be honest with you, and I think we just touched on that, you don't want to be anything like, but some of them you would hold up, like we just said, as, as a role model. And then there's those others that the little snippets that you pick up when you're around other instructors, you know, hey, I want to take that and add that to my dive kit. You know, I want to maybe take this from this one and add to my dive kit. Stuff like that really makes a huge difference in our profession. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. You may have noticed I didn't mention anyone from those other shops that I did all that other training with as role models. There's a reason for it. You yeah. Know? Any role model with uh, Edge Hog you should talk about? Yes. Maybe that guy that's sitting here talking to us. I mean, <laughs> Bob Collins has been amazing. We've called him many times. And even though we're three hours apart I in time. Him, I paid him big money it's, to you say know, this. 10 o'clock at night for him, and it's only 7 o'clock at night for us getting out of the pool and trying to make an order and get it here in the next day. And Bob takes care of us and makes sure it's there and ready for us as well. And as awesome. you mentioned, we were just having breakfast this morning, and he's been working in the dive industry for many years and was asking us how we structure our business and was giving us some pointers based on things that he has learned. Like, it has nothing really to do with Edge Hog. He's just helping us out as somebody else who teaches scuba as well. Mm -hmm. So absolutely, yes, thank you for, for those <laughs> tips and you know, working, the, working with us and helping us out. It's, you know, being somebody in, in my position, I've, I've learned from my dad, and this is one of those dad moments, I learned from my dad <laughs> to, to always try to help other people be successful. And that's what you're doing with your divers. You're looking to make them successful mm -hmm. and that is making you successful. And mm -hmm. I, I do my best to try to make you guys successful and I'll do the same thing for you. I'll be happy to help you out in addition to uh, the, the, the wonderful folks from Jade Scuba here. You like the green shirts? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I still yeah. remember our, uh, our first opening order with uh, Hog when we were first setting up and it was a fairly large order getting all of our rental gear and the basics mass fin snorkel boots gloves yeah we spent a lot of time with bob on the phone as he was working with us on our order going wait 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 if we change a couple of things over here i can get you more stuff and save you money on top of it he's very helpful with getting us going with that appreciate that Jay. and he was okay doing that while we were telling him about watching dolphins on the beach <laughs> <laughs> yeah and I mean, I love Jacksonville. Jacksonville is a great place, but Southern California, way cool, way <laughs> cool. All right. So I really appreciate you guys taking a few minutes to put together this little video. And we wanted you folks out there, especially you folks that are thinking about becoming instructors, to have a little idea 
about not only how Edge Hog can try to make you more successful, but also a little insight into what makes for a successful instructor and instruction business. Mm -hmm. um, so we appreciate you watching. Uh, if you're new here on the channel, please reach down there and hit that subscribe button. If you have any comments about what we've said uh, for myself or Ashley or Jake, drop them down there in the comment section. We really appreciate it. And as we always say here at Edgehog, dive safe. Thanks a lot.